In Ottawa, the Prime Minister was back in the hot seat today, under pressure once again to explain what he knew about that secret deal to bail out Mike Duffy. Did the Prime Minister know about the plan to use Conservative Party funds to reimburse the illegal expenses of Mike Duffy? No weasel words, yes or no. I had told him, including telling him directly, that he should repay those funds, was later told that he had. That, of course, was not true, and that is, of course, one of the reasons why uh, the Senate has acted as it has, and we congratulate them for that action. Yeah. Mike Duffy, along with Pamela Wallen and Patrick Brazeau, have now been suspended from the Senate without pay, but they may not be completely off the public payroll. They will still get medical benefits. They may even be eligible for a pension. Our Mike LeCouture spent the day trying to get some answers. Senators Pamela Wallen, Mike Duffy and Patrick Brazeau are now suspended from the upper chamber, but taxpayers are still supporting them. They are keeping their medical benefits and Wallen's lawyer doesn't think their pensions will be touched either. We can find no legislative or, regulator or regula legislation or regulation that allows them to do anything with their pension. And so if they do something, I'll be the first to ask, what's your authority for doing this? The fact is, no one is sure the Senate can touch their pensions. Conservative Senate leader Claude Carignan says the spirit of the motion was to take away their pensions. But he's referred the question to Senate administration to see if that's possible. How that we can do to suspend the benefit and the salary uh, with the parameters of the law, uh, we will do it. According to the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, in just two years, all three of the suspended senators will be eligible to collect a pension of $24,000 annually. The Tories weren't united in suspending the three, and they're just as divided on the question of taking away their pensions. Conservative Senator Jean-Guy Dagenet believes the Senate could make pension contributions on behalf of the three suspended senators. If we will pay for this, when we will, they will come back to the Senate, they will reimburse the Senate. That's my personal opinion. The lack of clarity confuses Liberal Senate leader James Cowan, and he says it proves one thing. It says that they've been making this whole process up as they go along. I would have thought somebody at some point would have figured out those questions. But it's not my job to do that. It's their, their motion. On several occasions in the last few days, we've put the question to Senate administration. Are these senators on pensionable time while suspended? So far, no one has given us a clear answer. Donna. I know you'll stay on it. Mike Lucatura in Ottawa. Thanks.